again. Yeah. But the boat's cleaner. It smells better. <laughs> Here's our seat. Yep, here's our helm station. And the Beavers has less tools. Still has some because we're still working. But it has less stuff. You see more of the boat. Right, nerd? Yes. At some point you gotta get all the tools out of here. Yeah. I gotta reorganize. Yep. There's so many tools and parts. Took 90% of it home. I gotta reorganize into I don't know, totes and things, and just have the minimum of equipment and tools and parts to do repairs underway. The major refit stuff for electrical, at least, is all done. And there is, uh, come over here, I guess you can see. So here is the uh, Victron stuff. That's this cool. is working all great. So batteries are float charging uh, at 13.48. Actually, this is just a new format different hmm. upgrade yeah sometimes it up updates. updates yeah so and then we've also got uh there we go we got cabin temp fridge temp engine room temp and we'll add some more stuff it's going to get solar and things like that eventually this is our little panel yes we made this panel there's going to be uh cabinets right here for storage yeah like drawers so these are just USB chargers because there's going to be things that are going to be charged that you can put in the cabinets down here. This one right here is to get to the uh, MultiPlus if you need to program it. Like for the MK3, you can uh, access it if I can get it off. You can just plug in your RJ45 right there instead of having to reach under the, uh, the MultiPlus. Uh, these shut off the batteries. These are the battery monitors. This is the shut off the power um, with a contactor, a Blue Seas RCB to shut off the contactor for the MultiPlus. So you still have power, battery power, but you can shut off the AC power if you're inverting and you want to isolate the. Uh, yeah. the uh, big trunk. Still got to put the cover on it, tidy up some wires in there, but it's pretty much done. What's next on the to-do list? Um, well... We so are going to cruise. Yeah. But we just... <laughs> got to get some things done We just got to do a few things. So there's, in the V-berth, on the upper deck, there's a couple little leaks in there. And I don't have a coring on the upper deck uh, roof of the V-berth. It actually is just fiberglass, thick fiberglass. And you used to have a wood decking on the upper deck there. The teak decks have been removed and there's still like pinhole leaks. So when it rains hard, you'll get a little bit of drips right through the fiberglass. Um, so I'm going to seal the V-berth roof mm -hmm. with some fiberglass, maybe vacuum bag it, I'm not really sure. And then of course once we paint the deck again, it will be uh, leak proof. That's so. important for overnights. Yes, because got, I've got brand new cushions that I'm making um, that are going to go up there and obviously i got to stop the leaks. Um, in the bathroom, in the head, there is uh, the same type of leak. So we'll take care of that at the same time. Those are the only remaining leaks in the boat. I think we pretty much got every other leak in the boat. Uh, port light windows, that's all part of that too, because I've already done all the forward port lights. I only have the, the port side uh, forward and aft um, port lights to change. I've already got those in, you know, here with me to change. I've already cut the cushions for the V-berth. I've made the the keyhole pieces of wood. I just have to make the covers, just like this, just like these right here. Same material. We made these, and uh, it's going to be well, similar material, very similar material. So I got to um, sew those up. So there'll be more sewing videos. Uh, this thermostat right here, which is just where the previous owner had it, but we put in a new AC. We're going to relocate this. Because it's obviously it's in a terrible spot, you can't see it. You have to bend down mm -hmm. to see it. Uh, in addition, we got this. How do you say this? Cielo. Cielo. Celio. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that is 
a Wi-Fi enabled uh, remote that is compatible with the Marinair and so before we get to the boat we can use this to pre-cool the boat you can turn the AC on it's when you're not here cool. you can control it here too and you can control it here so you don't have to touch your not so great Marinair uh, um, like touchpad remote. or controller or the remote anymore you can just use kind of a, a, a better Back thermostat down. yeah it's much better so and so when we relocate that to over there, that's going to get mounted, and that's basically how we will. We're control. thinking of putting it over here. Yeah, it's going to go there. So almost surely. It's pretty cool. All right. And then we need to add a new AC outlet. So we have a main AC outlet right here. Yeah. From the Marinara right large. here. Yeah, a lot of air comes out there. Problem is, every time you open this door, blows it right outside. Yeah. So it stays cold around the galley, but then yeah. back over this way. So right here, we're going to add a four-inch duct that basically you can blow anywhere. It'll head back yeah. over here. There is a four-inch duct in the V-burn too, but there needs to be more balanced cooling towards the front of the boat. We just have one right yeah. here, basically. So. We just need to balance the uh, the duct flow around mm -hmm. the boat. Not a big boat, but it's surprising how it's a 31 footer. Yeah, it's, it's surprising how how uh, unbalanced the cooling air is, and you know it, it uh, has hot spots in the boat, even though it's small. Um, we've got the at some point we don't need to do this right away, but we've got the Victron system in. We've got the Epic batteries, 920 amps. Um, I have a, the new Orion DC to DC 50 amp charger. So that's going to go on pretty soon. Not enough to go on very soon. Uh, and then after that, I've got to do the Garmin autopilot. Most of the Garmin's already done. Um, I just need to put the autopilot in and then the radar, but I need to make a mask. So, yeah, got the camera, got the depth finder. I need a radar and I need the autopilot. And here's the autopilot up here, the autopilot controller. We have oh, okay. the GHC 50. Yes. Uh, system. Just put the simulator on right now because it's not doing anything. Right. Yep. What's the what's the next project? Well, we need to seal the V-Birth first. No, Just, did you go over everything? Yeah, oh, okay. Garmin Autopilot. Gotcha. And then eventually, when I make the mast or the arch, then I'll put the... Oh, what the, about uh, the excavator? The what? Excavator. What excavator? Will it be dry? Oh, the evacuator. The evacuator. Yes. <laughs> so, I have the bilge be dry, three-position um, dry bilge system, and it works fantastic. They also make this thing called the evacuator. I don't have it here. It's just a little Wi-Fi box that can control your uh, engine room blowers, or any type of blower for that matter. And I've tested it on the bench and it, the app works great. I'm actually going to make it so that uh, I'm gonna ha I have two blowers. I'm going to have one so I can turn it on and it's going to evacuate the engine room. The other one is going to be on and it's going to basically blow right on the alternator for a little bit of cooling. So, But that's, that's all down the road. That's just uh, stuff. I want to do at some point, mm -hmm. so that's not here. Number one is get these, the leaks. Uh, huh? Get the leaks addressed. Get the leaks addressed. Yeah. Gotta get the leaks addressed. And thanks to Build to Be Dry, it's helping us. Well, yeah. Stay yeah. ahead of any. Yeah. So the leaks, <laughs> when it rains, we get fresh water into the bilge through a couple of spots, mostly up front, and then also you've got the what? What's that called back there? The lazarette. The lazarette. Yeah, lazarette yeah. seal. It never seals perfectly, so you get bilge uh, rainwater in there too. Mm -hmm. But the bilge to be dry knocks that out by the end of the day every time it rains in there so yep. that's where we are at the boat is clean semi-clean we still gotta do it's, some some more cleaning and arranging there's and definitely things. more spaces to sit down yeah i had, I had tools <laughs> and parts everywhere in here so yeah, it's all good it's all good so we're getting there yeah. and then we gotta do the outside yeah all right don't forget to like and subscribe Yes. so you can come along the journey with us on our little DIY trawler. Yep, DIY channel. Alright, then be intrigued.